folks. Today we are here in Mount Airy, North Carolina, home to the famous Andy Griffith. This is his hometown. Of course, we all know Mayberry, and this is the real life Mayberry. There's even a snappy lunch down there. Dawn, are you ready? Ready. Let's do this. Carolina. I heard a lot about it. I, I, I know about the Andy Griffin show when I was little and now we're here. We are. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab lunch at the Snappy Lunch because I hear that their hours are limited and you don't want to miss out on this great big pork ch chop sandwich. Big, great big huge <laughs> pork chop sandwich. <laughs> This place is amazing, oh my goodness. So the prices cannot be beat. I ordered their famous pork chop sandwich. I think Dawn got a, a hamburger and um, got some Diet Cokes to drink. This place is busy. There's a lot of folks in here. Uh, good thing that we came in because it closed at 145. Yeah, and it's already like almost one o'clock. So yeah, we came in. Yeah, first thing to do do that so what do you think it's, it's a cute little restaurant yeah very cute very quaint yes now you can kind of get the vibes of mayberry you know what i mean like from you know the tv series of course it was all filmed in california but this was the this was the you know this is where it happened for real you know in, inside annie's head um but yeah it's really really cool did you see the prices? They're like five dollars for the most expensive thing on I mean that's crazy. Yeah, that's and they don't have like french fries or nothing. They have potato chips, you know. Imagine if these floors could talk and what they could tell you. This was the snappy lunch building in the eighteen hundreds. It was a post office. That's what we're dealing with here. And so you got a cheeseburger, I got the pork chop. And it smells really, really good, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and get into this. This is their famous pork chop sandwich. You got coleslaw, um, tomato, a um, little bit of chili on there. Of course, the pork chop itself looks good. It's real nice and heavy. And there's Dawn's cheeseburger. Pretty much just a basic cheeseburger, right? Really, really good. Amazing. Mm. That's a cold slot in it. Good. Really good. Very, very good. It's got a strong onion taste to it. Coleslaw is perfect. Pork chop is done just right. And that was the famous snappy lunch. And I love the the old-fashioned sign out front, the Coca-Cola sign. It was a good lunch. It was, yes. The pork chop sandwich is the item to get. And right next door to Snappy Lunch is Floyd's Barber Shop. Andy used to get his hair cut in there, Don. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. Right there. Ah, Floyd's City Barber. Yeah, got the barber pole and... I don't need my hair cut or I would stop in, but take a look at all the the great memorabilia here. Ah, 
absolutely amazing. Well. So this is their overflow for the snappy lunch. And then they have Opie's Candy Store, just a few doors down from that. And we should go in and, and check that out, right? Mm -hmm. And they even serve Mayfield ice cream here. The chances are they're gonna have your favorite candy, even gummy chicken feet. <laughs> gummy chicken feet, I've never seen that before. They also have pink pigs there. Uh, Opie's candy store. And you can't forget Opie's tree house. They have a little replica of that here in the corner. Very great theming. Love that old Coca-Cola cooler there. You always see the old Coca-Cola ones, but you rarely see the 7-Up ones. And there's nothing like Main Street. And this is a perfect Main Street. The historic Earl Theater. And they're playing the new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. They have a stock car wall of fame. Yeah, let's go check this out. I wasn't expecting to run into this today. Yeah, and NASCAR is, is a big thing here in North Carolina. This is actually a really great walk of fame. They talk a little about the history. Of course, NASCAR got its start from Moonshine and Junior Johnson being a legend in that time, but just a lot of great things to look at. Not, not even just Mayberry stuff, but just a lot of fun things. And they have a little arcade back here, down this alley. Kind of like a little, like a little movie theater. Hmm. It is kind of weird to go into an arcade down this alley. Um, kind of like sketchy. Yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of, let's go in, let's, let's, let's do this, right? What's life if you don't explore? You don't go outside of the realm, you know? And this is definitely, it screams retro. Look at the doors and it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of a, an interesting little place. Hmm. It just dawned on um, me, get it, dawn? Yeah. An arcade, I think is another name for like a hallway with businesses in it. <laughs> It's not the kind where you, I thought we were gonna play like pinball. Pinball and stuff. No. I don't see any pinballs. I don't see any. It's just a one long walk. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it's another term for like not quite a mall, but kind yeah. of like, you know, like professional businesses. Okay. No pinball. Misleading. Pin, nope. Well, it's not misleading. I mean, well, I mean, it's an <laughs> arcade. Yeah, it's not the one you play pinball, though. <laughs> and spring is popping up everywhere we go. The tulips are are starting to pop through. Ah, yes. Oh yeah, an arcade is a hallway with arches. I just looked up on Google. I Not, <laughs> but I thought it was an arcade you play pinball. Okay. Yeah. There is something here for everyone. They have hillbilly moonshine ice cream. Of course, that that crazy hillbilly up there looks like he. He's got two different colored eyes like I do. <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> and you know something? I think that they spiked the ice cream here. Just saying. I'm assuming. Oh, it says moonshine. Yeah, moonshine ice cream. But uh, a real fun, fun place. Ah, and a great big ice cream on Main Street to, to welcome you in Heavenly Pies. Oh, Dawn, they got some some baked, mm. some fried pies. Yes, they have. Good I think we should get a fried pie. Okay. Yeah, let's go and get, get one. They smell good. Oh, they smell amazing, guys. Oh, wow. You wouldn't believe the smell that I am smelling. Take a look at Oh my goodness, this is like the most 
amazing smell I have ever smelt in my life. Fresh, just like a fresh baked pie. Very nice place. I can't the smell. Yeah, you, you, you can smell those. It is. Yeah, they even have. <laughs> Let's not let's not get any of those, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. And these pies just look amazing. Here's a nice little this one's here is called Roadkill Peach Moonshine. And this one here they say is their best. It's a German chocolate. Five inch. Five inch pecan. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. The cobbler. <laughs> I think we died and went to heaven. You can smell it. Smell I mean, it's. Yeah, I guess, you know, there's like angel wings and a heart. Yeah, I think we have died, Don. I think we're. We didn't make it. We didn't make it, did we? We're, but we made it to heaven. That's a good thing. And they are master pieces of art. We got a pie to share. So we the got German chocolate the German chocolate is what we got. And oh my gosh, they had every flavor under the sun. The, the folks there said so they make them fresh there. And I am impressed. In fact, I think it was worth the trip just for that. Oh boy, they have Bear Creek fudge. Factory, Candy Cane Lane Shop, Blue Bell Ice Cream. They even have Bear Creek Gifts. And it looks like that's the Gatlinburg symbol up there. <laughs> it does. Wow, this place is, is crazy. Let's go in and do some gift shopping. Let's see if we can find a pin for the map, right? Well, they do have some magnets for the refrigerator. Oh boy, they they have all kinds of great gifts to take home. Everything you can imagine. Aunt B, Opie, they got it all. Some got even got a patch. I like those prints up there, the Blue Ridge Parkway. They even got one over here that says Mayberry, North Carolina with the bear. Yeah, even Wow, it's, it's really cool. Great shop. Highly recommend coming in here. They have pretty much everything. One-stop shop. You'd never know where Barney might be hiding around here. <laughs> so I recommend going into Bear Creek Gifts. The folks in there are really cool. We got some magnets for the refrigerator. And they recognize us. They're like, oh my gosh, Will and Dawn are here. Really great folks. That, you know, that small town atmosphere, very friendly. I recommend that. So Walker Soda Fountain is closed today, but uh, it's an old, an old drug store. Let's take a little peek through the window. An old soda fountain. So you've got the little, the Pepsi um, fountain there. And that is really cool. Too bad it's, it's closed. And talking about old ghost signs, this is definitely not a ghost. Delicious and refreshing. And it's one of the biggest murals I've seen, old school murals I've seen. Mount Airy Coca-Cola, five cents. It relieves fatigue. fatigue. Yes. It gives you that yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Mount Airy is known as a granite city. And Donna Fargo, is a American country artist. She had a bunch of hits in the, the 1970s. I'm not too familiar with her. Mayberry country, a little mural of Opie and Andy. Mount Pilot, remember Mount Pilot? There's actually a Pilot Mountain up the road which is a real town they kept referring to in the series Pilot Mountain, yeah. right? 
and there are tons of antique stores, souvenir shops, um, a lot to see, a lot to take in, more than what we have time for, I think. It's already two o'clock, and we haven't even walked to town. We haven't even seen um, Andy's house yet. We haven't we haven't done anything. Uh, if you are a fan of the series, this here will just hit home with you. It's it's amazing. It's you know they made the TV series just like the real town, and folks around here don't even refer to it as Mount Airy. They all say "Welcome to Mayberry." You notice that? Yeah. <laughs> Booze Kitchen, American, Italian, the lights. Now, I don't think there was a Booze Kitchen in the, in the TV series. Probably not. But there's a lot to eat down here. They have uh, Mexican, Italian. So, but you, I think you have to kind of eat at the the named restaurants. There's even a Barney's Cafe over there. Uh, Barney's got his own place, you know. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. And there's so much shopping here. I mean, where else can you run into a great big metal giraffe? A lot of Christmas stores. Now, they have Mayberry Days, which happens in September, right? Right. And uh, I think we want to come back for that. But the folks back there at the one shop was telling us it is crazy during that time. In fact, you won't even find a hotel. They're already booked for, he says, they're already booked, but plan to stay, you know, but it's only three hours away. We could come over here for the day and it'd be a long day, but we could drive back. Leon's home of the California cheeseburger. Leon's Burger Express. An absolute amazing restaurant also. They close at two o'clock. So Leon's closes at two, but they allowed us to look inside real quick and take a look. I think I found one of the most coolest little churches I have ever seen. And it's 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 just a little little church. It's been placed on the National Register of Historic Places, but it's it's charming. It's like one of the coolest little churches ever. All we need now is some fishing poles and find <laughs> And find, and find the nearest fishing hole, right? This is a really cute little town. It is. It's like the perfect little town. You gotta do that, right? I absolutely love these classic storefronts where you kind of walk into this atrium and you can look at the merchandise that is for sale even before you enter the shop. You got the Barney's Cafe, home of the Barney Burger. And they're open until four. So if you don't get here by two, you can always head into Barney's. You know, there's a lot of baked goods here. Oh yeah, I can smell coffee in the air. I can smell cookies. And $950 for old big boy there. Yeah, they, a lot of antique places. And there's a, a oranged hair Raggedy Ann. And we're gonna head into the Andy Griffith Museum. Hey, there's Barney's sidecar. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this chair was made by Carl E. Griffith in 1927 yeah, for his wife. And these are the photos of him growing up throughout the years. There's a slingshot when Andy was a small boy. What it was, was a football. Comedian, musician, yeah, actor. There was pretty much nothing he couldn't do, right? Yeah. And very talented. Yeah, a lot of memories in these little cabinets here. Of course, he was also in Matlock. Remember Matlock? Andy and Elvis 
tour Florida. That would be awesome to tour Florida with with Elvis, right? Yeah, grand old Opry. Yeah, so they have a really nice small museum. Got a lot of his personal things in here and just a lot to take in. Spy hard. <laughs> I forgot. It was Onion Head. Onion Head. Yeah. It was a, it was a movie. Onion Head. Yeah. Put the whole Coast Guard in the stew. So yeah, he was kind of it was kind of a comedy. Like on a, a ship. Yeah, he it was kind of a comedy movie. Uh, I've never seen it. Never heard of it. I've never it's seen. Time for Sergeant's Meathead. Andy Griffin is back in Onion Head. So you know what? We're going to have to watch Onion Head. You know, there's a lot of movies we need to watch now that we have, you know, of course he was in, he was, he was with Debbie Reynolds, you know, the second time around, but you know what? I don't recall ever seeing that movie in general. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was in a lot of movies. And this shirt was worn by Andy. Right here. And there's a letter from Andy. Pretty cool. Of course, there was Matlock. And I remember watching a few episodes. It was a very good series. And um, it really capped off his career at towards, you know what I mean, towards the end of it. And uh, you know, it was filmed in Wilmington, North Carolina. Now that I didn't know, or at least according to what the hat says. Even before Andy made it big, he had it figured out. And he was already a very rich person, even before... Mayberry and and all that and you know right there Frank uh, Frank Bass presents Frosty's Winter Wonderland narrated by Andy Griffin I forgot about that he narrated yeah. Frosty I, I forgot all about that I'm scared of that picture. yeah I know you were laughing at that you're chuckling make yourself comfortable right <laughs> he looks horrified <laughs> yeah he does he does Hollywood and beyond. People's Choice Award in 1987. Of course, he was in the paper probably quite a bit here in Mount Airy. And they even named the parkway after him. Yeah, we, we came in on that when, when we first come in. But, uh, well, and speaking of the, the old jail keys, these are the original ones that were used right there, hanging on the wall. There's old Otis letting himself in. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a great, great TV series. Ron Howard, he, he became huge. Who would have who would have known, right? Yeah, there's Otis's suit. Yeah, he he knows his fashion quite well. <laughs> uh, yeah, marketing, marketing, marketing. Of course, there's all kinds of. He had his own sausage line, chicken, um, navy beans. <laughs> navy beans. Yeah. Emmett's Fiction Fiction Shop. And some of the stuff that was used on screen. And there's that iconic hat that old Goober wore. Oh, that that's the actual I guess so. the actual hat Pumpkins. they George Lindsay, right? I think they bronzed it. 
Yeah. You know, he's very iconic. You know, only he could wear that, right? Nobody else can get away with that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, Ken Berry. Oh, there they are there. Look at the old sailed shoes. Oh, here's an old script. Oh, wow. That's really neat. Don Knotts. Oh, my goodness. Don Knotts, right? Yep, Barney in the Choir, official script, Don Knotts, gloves, his suit, he was a very slender, slender guy, Mint Mo Barney, fly salt and pepper suit from 1986, so that's, that's the, um, the salt and pepper suit. I remember him from a lot of the Disney stuff that he did growing up as a kid. Um, Company. Yeah, and <laughs> Mr. Limpet, yep. he was the talking fish, right? And you made an appearance in Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very great career. The actual doors. <laughs> yep. We saw the mock up, but here is the real gavel and sound block and an eagle that we saw during during the TV series that's the actual gavel he slammed that down so many times could you wow this it's it's amazing i didn't realize they had so many uh screen used things in here so many of the personal items from the cast and uh it's a nice little museum it doesn't overwhelm you and you can take your time soak it all in it's not too cluttered like some museums, you know? And um, it'll bring back memories for sure. Well, what are you thinking, Don? Oh, Don's been good. soaking it all in, right? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I know you did. And at the beginning of the day, Don was like, you know, it's been like 10 <laughs> years since I've seen an episode, right? Yeah, or longer. And, and same for me. I have not seen an episode in a very long time. But as soon as we walked in, as soon as we started tour, you start remembering all the things, you know? And... Uh, this is really cool. And one of the most famous openings in any TV show ever is the opening to Andy Griffith show. Opie, Andy. <sighs> perfect statue for a perfect day, isn't it? I think we saw pretty much everything as in related to the Andy Griffith, the Andy Griffith show and Andy, his, his life story, you know, everything. Town is... An amazing town, even without Andy. It was an amazing day, good day. Get to ride around the cop car, get to go see the museum. We had a bunch at Snappy's. Folks, that's gonna do it for today. Here in Mayberry, or what it's known as, Mount Airy, North Carolina. Definitely recommend it. <laughs> it was, they were, it was, uh, folks, that's gonna do it for today. Here in Mount Airy, or AKA Mayberry. If you like this vlog, give a thumbs up. also if you have it, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming road trip adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Also stay tuned until tomorrow's video when we show, <laughs> people are waving. People are so friendly here, you notice that? Super friendly, everybody waves, just like the TVs, you know what I mean? Uh, just amazing. But stay tuned until tomorrow's video when we give the, the patrol car a full ride to all the great locations. We love you and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone. Bye everyone.